welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you my April TBR. And so what I've decided is I'm not going to make this huge long TBR because let's be honest, the last few months I just haven't been able to make it through half of those books or I just haven't been in the mood for the books on my TBR and I've read other things. So um, I'm just going to pick a I just picked a couple books here. I picked three books um, and then I'm going to pick one book from my TBR jar and then also the t um, Tome Topple readathon takes place this month and um, I'm going to be participating in that for the first time and I will have a separate video with my Tome Topple TBR. So I don't want to put too much on here because I don't even know if I'll get through these ones and I'm sure you guys are sick of me saying oh I'm going to read this and this and this and then my wrap up comes and it's like nothing. So you know we're just going to do what we do and we're going to move on from it. But anyways. Um, so the first book, and I'm actually reading this right now, I'm about 25 pages in, that I want to read in the month of April is Ferris by Marissa Meyer. This is the, uh, it's a short story that follows Queen Lavana, who is like the villain, is she the villain or the antagonist in the Lunar Chronicle series. So I love this series and I want to read Winter, but I'm not ready to read Winter quite yet, so I figured I'd read this one instead and it is pretty short. I think it's less than 300 pages. Um, so I should be able to get through this one, like, pretty quickly. So that's the first one that I want to read. Um, the next thing that I want to read, and maybe I'll read this one next. I've really been anticipating this for a while. And this is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Um, this just came out in February, and I've been waiting on it. Um, this is a library copy, and I've been waiting for it for a really long time, and I was finally able to pick it up. Um, I did start it. Um, I didn't get that far into it, but I know I'm going to love it, and I've heard nothing but amazing things. Plus, it's been, like, number one um, on the bestseller list for the last few weeks, um, which is amazing. So I think everyone needs to read this. I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to tell you that you need to read this because everyone's told me I need to read it. And like I said, I've heard nothing but amazing things, and so I cannot wait to get into it. And it's a lot bigger than I thought. I didn't think it was this big. But, let's see. Um, it's about 444 pages, so. But, I mean, people said they couldn't put it down, so I think I'm just going to be able to fly through it because I'm going to love it so much, and I cannot wait to read it. And then the final book that I have picked out for myself before my TBR jar is Spindle Fire. And this is by Lexa Hillier. This is a ARC copy that I won on a Twitter giveaway from Paper Lantern Lit. And I'll link their Twitter down below. You guys should check them out. Um, they were doing a giveaway of this. Um, the author, I think she's a co-creator of Paper Lantern Lit. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I didn't know this, but it's sucked. So that's pretty cool. So basically, um, this book is a Sleeping Beauty retelling, but I think it's like a dark, darker version of Sleeping Beauty. And the tagline, uh, the, I can't talk. The tagline on here says, "A kingdom burns, a princess sleeps. There is no fairy tale." So, and it's really pretty. There's the castle, and I'm just I love retelling. So this is like right on my alley, and I was so shocked that I won it. So I cannot wait to read it. Um, this one comes out on April 17th, so I'm hoping to have it read before then so I can do a little review on it. Okay, so th those are the books that I picked out for myself. I am going to pick one book for my TBR jar here, and like I said, and like I said, I will be participating in the Tome Topple um, Readathon. I don't know that takes place between April 7th and April 20th. It is two weeks long because the goal of the Tome Topple is to read books that are over 500 pages long. So that's why you have two weeks to do it. Um, and I'm really excited to participate in that because I've needed a reason to pick up some of my chunkier books and this is perfect. Um, you know, I always shy away from them because I know they're going to take me so long to read and then my TBR or my wrap up is going to be like two books because I spent the whole month reading something huge. But anyway, that'll be a whole separate video so look out for that. And I'm just going to pick one book from my TBR jar. There's so many in here, guys. I need to quit buying books, but I'm about to film, film a book haul after this, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, 
you can't read this, I'm not going to show you, but it's Beautiful Redemption by Kami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, and I think Beautiful Redemption is the fourth book in the Beautiful Creature series, but I have not read the third book in the Beautiful Creature series, so um, I'll be reading that one instead. And actually, that's kind of a chunky book too, so maybe I can use it for my tome topple, I don't know. But, so that's what I have. I have Spindle Fire, The Hate You Give, Fairest, and then Beautiful Chaos, maybe? I think that's what it's called. So I have these three books. Well, I guess I have four. I have four books and then my Tome Topple, so hopefully I'll be able to get through them. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And to be honest, if I can get through, like, one of these, like The Hate You Give, and then, like, one of my tomes for Tome Topple, I will be happy just because... They're big books, <laughs> but I've been wanting to read them for a while, so I'm glad I have an excuse now, huh? Anyway, so that's what I'm planning to read in the month of April. Let me know down below what you guys are planning to read, and also if you're planning on um, participating in the Tome Topple, I'd love to, to hear um, that you are. And... Yeah, I think that's it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!